this is my first sausage making video so I'm gonna show you the easiest way I know how to get it right every time this old plantation season by AC leg out of uh, Alabama I like the hot pork sausage season if you like hot sage breakfast sausage uh, this is the stuff they use all over the south and the grocery stores buy this stuff make their sausage out of it it's just uh, very popular you can find this on Amazon they got a lot of different seasoning but the legs uh, seasonings are really good so this package will do 25 pounds of sausage and it's about eight or nine bucks on Amazon right now so what I got is about 19 to 20 pounds of pork cut up about one inch cubes and I got six pounds of bacon so we're gonna do a 25 pound recipe so uh, I'm like a little over 19 pounds of this six pounds of that and I use bacon rather than pork fat because I kind of like the smoky flavor as far as grinder I've used hand grinders and stuff and absolutely work you to death so this is kind of the bottom of the line LEM or limb or whatever grinder uh, this is aluminum I didn't pay attention when I bought it so basically I can do this while I'm trying to film here you put that on there you got your auger plastic I don't like seeing but like I said I was in a hurry and you got your cutter and yeah it's already got stuff it's because this is like a, I've made like four different batches of uh, sausage today so I'm just rinsed it off and got another one now a lot of your recipes will tell you to grind it through a large one then mix everything up grind it through a small one again I've done that <clears throat> a lot of different times and I hate doing it that way I'd rather grind it one time through this these are about eighth inch holes here it's the small grinding plate and I just grind it one time and then if there's any mixing needs to be done I'll mix it I love this feature though so all you do I'm gonna be putting it in ziplock bags eventually but what I do is I let I do you keep everything down follow the FDA guidelines you know they say some people say 36 degrees and then or 38 or whatever but if, the other reason that I'm doing it like this like that ahead of time is I also got a meat mixer here this will have a auger in there a crank handle and uh, if you're trying to mix 25 pounds of sausage by hand and it's like 36 or 38 degrees it just kills your hands and you're heating up the sausage so just follow the food safety guidelines if uh, you want to know what they are go online and look them up but what I do is I make the sausage and then I put it in the refrigerator you know you you make it you cook your piece and uh, taste it and then put it in the refrigerator cook you another patty the next day and taste it and I'll let it go for up to three days and every day that's going to get hotter so sausage generally you're going to put 25 percent to one-third fat if you try to go leaner than about 20 percent I find that it's way too dry and it doesn't really it's hard to cook it just don't taste right so anyway we got this and then if you want to stuff it in casings in natural hog casings or sheep casings or whatever these are actually cleaned out intestines you put it over a funnel and you'll take that plate off of it and you'll put this little plastic plate up in there you'll put your funnel over it and then the collar screws over the top of it you can do it like that or you can use one of these caulking gun attachments which if you're going to use one of them this goes inside of here and I'll actually take and I'll push this push this down and pull that plunger up and suck the sausage up into that funnel but these are extremely messy I haven't invested in a sausage stuffer yet so anyway this is what you do so I'm gonna take I can turn it on I can put a couple pieces of meat in there and then I'll just throw this is thick cut bacon here I'll just throw the bacon in so I'm doing about I'm gonna do four parts 
this to one part bacon. And I've already mixed the sausage seasoning up. So you take, you turn it on. They got a little pusher here. And you do that until you made all your sausage and then just uh, take it from there. I personally like patties. But like I said, this is the easiest way I know of, foolproof method to make good sausage. And they got a lot of different flavors. And uh, I don't get anything from these people. I'm in no way connected to any of them. Thanks.